Okay. Um, uh, switching to bread, um, when it comes to when it comes to agronomic offerings, what's really your approach to 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 talking about farmers uh, regarding what what kinds of things they should adopt? I mean, you're you know we 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 had we had precision programs that were separate, and then we've had kind of agronomic programs that are all in. We've got lots of different approaches out there in terms of in terms of um, bringing programs to, to farmers. What what approach is, is working uh, well for you in terms of you know getting folks to understand the benefits of and and um, and adopting some of these uh, beneficial technologies more effectively. Um. I feel anyway you, you can be more efficient and save money. Uh, a variable rate is huge. I mean, we went in 2012. We upgraded planters to have a variable rate capability, and the, and the and the automatic row shut off. I mean, that the amount of, of seed that we save a year now is just unbelievable. I mean, it's so efficient. There's no there's no overlap whatsoever, and uh, that stuff costs money. But you gotta look at the money that you're saving. I mean, when you have a year or two payoff, to me that's a no brainer. I mean, you're making you are making money on this thing year three, and that's technology that's not going to go away. I mean, once you invest in that, that piece of equipment, it's it's going to be there forever. Yeah, you might have some minor maintenance things, but uh, anything that you can that has a year or two payoff, I believe is it's 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 a no brainer because it's it's going to make it's going to make you money in the long run, and that's kind of the reason we went into strip till. Uh, just having that efficiency with our with our. Uh, nutrients now i mean it's it's going to save us money in the long run was it a big investment up front absolutely it was a big investment but we have to look long term and what's the best thing for our farm best thing for soil health and the best and best way to, to raise a good crop okay um brad do you have any thoughts on on that question or any reaction to that that's brad that's lee i'm sorry guys no. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> lee i've i Boy, I'm looking at three different things here. I got two screens going. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Take it away. Uh, we need to be able to, to track what what we're doing in the field, whether it's paying off or not. Um, so recording of the data, getting actual yield information on exactly where those trials were is, is huge. Um, the answer plot system, looking at at different varieties or, or different planting populations, um, response to nitrogen scores, response to fungicide scores, those type of things um, really have changed the, the landscape out here with what we recommend to our growers based on knowing how those each hybrid responds. Um, things have gotten so technical that we actually have our our crop advantage department, which is helping our agronomy salesmen and our growers with all their, their technology needs, whether it's hooking monitors up in a tractor or getting data or understanding what a, an imagery means. I mean, there's, we have a des dedicated staff to, to help us do that. So, um, all the forecasting tools we have available, the field forecasting tool that to know whether that nitrogen application is going to be beneficial or not, if it's going to pay off, um, and what the right rate is, uh, that's just going to get bigger and bigger all the time because we can't just be throwing money out at, at crops hoping or, yeah, this will this will work. We, we really need to know what that number is and, and whether it's going to be a payoff. So, uh, you know, we use Truterra for... Conservation, soil conservation. We need to protect that that asset. If we don't have that asset, we really, we're struggling all the way through. So um, that has been a, a big thing we're working, getting into more and more is what practices out on the farm are going to to help you save your soil. 